Hi, this is Brian Kim. I'm going to share with you my technique on how to make a triplanar corneal incision using a metal blade. I typically use a diamond blade, but you can also use a metal blade to do this technique. And I'll be using the Diametric Protex blade today. And this has a sleeve that comes down and covers over the blade as a safety mechanism. So why do I prefer a triplanar corneal incision? Well, let's take a look at the cornea. This is a picture of the cornea, and this is an illustration of what a uniplanar incision would look like. Look at the external component of this incision. It is just a small little triangular flap. There is no structural integrity to this portion of the cornea. Well, what about a biplanar corneal incision? Well, look, this external component of the incision is also this small triangular piece of flap tissue. It does not provide any structural support to the corneal tissue. In contrast, look at a triplanar corneal incision. There is a vertical component to the external most portion of the incision, and so therefore there is more stromal tissue in that portion of the corneal incision. More stromal tissue means more structural rigidity, more strength, and you know this because when you make a uniplanar incision, sometimes that external portion of the cornea kind of flaps around almost like a fish. It doesn't provide any structural integrity whatsoever, in my opinion. And so whenever possible, I think a triplanar corneal incision with a vertical groove to go deep a little bit into the stromal tissue and creating kind of a thick stromal edge as you go out. It's not much different from doing an interlace flap during LASIK versus a microkeratome flap. Microkeratome flaps just cut across, very similar to a uniplanar cataract incision. Microkeratome flap is a triangular piece of epithelium and stroma on the external portion of the incision. This provides no structural integrity. In contrast, an interlace flap creates a vertical component to the external part of the flap, and then it tunnels across and creates the flap. In my experience, some interlace flaps are much more robust and strong compared with the microkeratome flaps. And so this is kind of the same analogy that I use. And in my experience, this external opponent of the incision is much stronger when you make a triplanar corneal incision. So this is a Diamatrix Protect clear corneal blade. This is a 2.65 millimeter blade, and it's a non-symmetrical double bevel design. It's a very thin profile blade, and I'm going to use this. Again, I'm trialing this for Diamatrix for the first time. And so I'm going to make a vertical groove, but this is a little bit difficult to score with a metal blade. You're not actually going to be able to stab that deeply with the metal blade compared to the diamond blade. So you're just scoring first, but then you push down into the stroma, and as you push into it, then you torque and tilt your blade. You kind of even out, get more parallel, and then you'll tunnel through the stroma, and then peel up, and then dive down. So again, once you make your groove, you're going to stab somewhat vertically, push into the stroma, and then rotate your heel down. You're going to tunnel through the stroma, and then heel up, and then dive in. You can get a really nice rectangular incision doing it this way. As you can see at the end of the case, I'm able to pull the sleeve down, which covers the blade. And so this is kind of a safety mechanism for when you hand off the blade to your surgical technician. Again, this is a 2.65 double bevel blade. So this is another case. I'm making a vertical groove. I'm stabbing and then I'm tunneling, 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 and then I'm going to go heel up and then I'm going to carefully stab through, penetrate. That's my last portion of the triplanar corneal incision and then I go all the way in. Again, I make my vertical groove, but again, because I am not able to go as deep as I would with a diamond blade, I'm really kind of scoring the surface and then I'm going to go heel up. I'm going to stab through the stroma through that little incision I made, tunnel with the heel down, tunnel through the stroma, and then heel up. And this is a triplanar corneal incision. So this is, again, why I prefer a triplanar corneal incision. With a triplanar corneal incision, you have much more stroma on the external most component of the incision. And this is why I think a triplanar corneal incision is a better incision. So I hope this was helpful to you, and thank you for your attention.